Hi, this is Victor Andrino. Now I'm presenting you this uh, RM Pro by Broadlink. This is an e remote. This is an infrared and radio frequency remote control that you can put uh, on a table and uh, then you can control it through your smartphone and then give it the order to switch on, switch off or control any electronic device that uses a, a remote control. It has uh, the applications, the apps for uh, iOS or Android, it uh, accomplishes the, the, the international uh, standards and uh, well, let's see, uh, the, the, this is the, the application, I have it installed here, we will see later what it does in a following uh, in the following minutes but let's see first what it includes here because uh, it's very simple what we can find inside it's just the the main unit of the device it's not so big as it uh, as that as I expected look it fits the palm of my hand it's uh, elegant. It has these LED lights, the blue one and the orange one. The blue one is for Wi-Fi, the orange is for signaling the reception of data. Here's the reset and temperature sensor here and the connection. This is how it looks from uh, at the bottom and you see it black but in the inside there are several uh, several infrared lights that can send over a 360 degree range these are the instructions on how to set it up this is the typical adapter that we can find with any with any smartphone any charger the 5 volt output so if it ever breaks you can use this to charge your smartphone as it is a standard adapter and talking about standards we will find inside the typical cable of micro usb that i will use to charge and connect the, the device to the power line these are the first uh, indications that it gives you uh, to understand and know what the blinking of the blue LED means, blue, the blue light that it, uh, that it has. Because if it blinks fast, it's not the same as, it be, as, as it, when it blinks slow. This uh, device is also an access point, the Wi-Fi access point that you can set up and configure and let's see how it works. Hi, now I'm going, sh I'm going to show you how it works. We're going to program this remote and this uh, other remote, this is the TV and this is the air conditioner, into the Broadlink RM Pro. Um, I have a TV ready to be used with my smartphone. How does it, does it work? Okay, first of all, I uh, installed, I configured this uh, Broadlink RM Pro this device with my smartphone. How does it do? Well, I don't know exactly. I don't know the mechanism, but this smartphone connects to the, my router through this app and this app gives the router the order to connect the Broadlink. I don't know how they do because this is not connected through the Broadlink uh, through this, through, through the, to the device with um, through any Bluetooth or any other connection. It goes first to the router and then from the router to the Broadlink RM Pro. I don't know how it works, but anyway, let's show you how to add this uh, remote control. It gives you the option to add uh, several kinds of air conditioner, audio system, set the box, TV remote, and other user user defined, user defined air con, air conditioner, just in case it doesn't. Uh, find it in their um, in their database 
let's see how it works the air conditioner it's very easy because now it it only needs one button for instance start stop there was a orange LED light here that flashes or it lights when it uh, when it's waiting for a new uh, for a new connection for a new signal you will see it and now it's supposed to work so I just input here the start stop button and then it connects to its database to see if it finds my Fujitsu air conditioner so if I do like this it should start it did. And even I can set the temperature lower or higher. I can set the fan speed. It gives you an indicator and the automatic. It gives you the, the, the modes that I can set with my remote control. It's not bad. For instance, the cooling mode, whatever. It puts here the cooling mode. It has like the, like the, a screen. This is fantastic, and it gives you the indoor temperature because here, where is it? Here behind, there is a temperature sensor. Okay, I can hear the fan of my air conditioner working, so I I will turn it off. Great. Okay, let's go for the remote control. Uh, this is the most used um, remote control in the house. Uh, this is a TV remote. It's probably the most used everywhere in every house uh, in the world. Yeah, the first world. And um, let's add it to the application. Now it's going to show you this. This is uh, what we will find when we use the... We can, you can have it in black or you can have it in white. Black is more elegant. elegant. And now we have to uh, give the device every single frequency of every single button. So, what happens if I touch volume down? That it will wait for the frequency of the volume down to uh, being input. So, we can start the process. See this orange light? Push one time, this volume down. We push volume up, we have it programmed. It's very fast, very quick. Channel down, channel down. My TV is on now because it uh, received the remote control signal. Volume up, and now we will input the on off button. Okay, now we we have the basics. You can you can uh, configure all the buttons. Even you can have many user defined buttons, so you can make your customized uh, remote control. And now what happens? Let's let's try it because. If I switch it on, the TV, TV will switch on. See? It works. Okay. If it's too, the volume is too loud, we can turn it down. If we find it's too low, we can turn it up. I muted it because it was too loud. We can switch channels up, down, and finally we switch it off. That's what it does. It does. Uh, I think it does many other things. You can access from from outside, from uh, from the internet to the broad link but this will be some other day this is the basics and this is enough and the price is not prohibitive it's uh, I don't know 30 40 dollars and you can buy it from broad link and uh, they they will ship it to you 
uh, internationally. So it's a it's a good a good uh, purchase. Thank you.